What's he doing? He's rub rubbing his... What are you doing, son? What are you doing? Come on, away. Summit on that rock. Look on right. Come on, you're going to cut all the grass in your bloody hooks. Come on. Away. Come on. Here. Come on. I remember the, the, the main turn off into the forest. I'm sure there's a sign that the on the side of the road saying follow Lee's and you also know it's the right one because there's a like a, a, a pulling passing place on the left hand side opposite us for the big trucks turning around to get square on on the main track here after they come along past the um, red path form and they come back to this main track here good boy <laughs> he's got half he's got half the play. well it's your daft <laughs> come here Come here, good boy, son. Come here. Come here, son. Come here. Come here. Oh, bloody hell. They're all caught in there, man. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come here. See if I can get some more out. Come here. Come here. It's going to drive you nuts. Hey, oh, it's a bit better. <laughs> he's rubbing his head and his face on a bit of rock. And in doing so, he's the, the hooks in the... The fingers in the um, choker chain have caught onto the grass. It's crackers. You look like um, when you go to Hawaii and they put those rings on your neck. That's what it looked like. He's getting greeted. Good boy, son. Good boy. Good lad. Come here. See if I can get some. Come here. Come here. See if I can get some more. Good boy, son. Come here. Come here. Come. He thinks I'm going to put his bloody leader on, that's why he nicks off. Come here, good boy. Come on then, how it? How it? How it? Good boy. How it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. He loves going in under the tree, look. He must be able to smell a deer. Come on, son. How it? How it? So I often watch a, a channel called Lundy's um, Wild Camp Bus Stroke Bushcraft and you often see him and Roni walking up here after they park the cars back there to go to their camp further up. Come here son, come here, come here, come here you daft, you look bloody stupid, come here. You've got half the forest in your bloody, your prongs you dafty. Come here, hey, good boy son, hey, good boy, right go on, go on. Good, but that's better. So if you haven't seen, um, if you, and if you, if, if you like wild camping, um, they do all kinds of bushcraft and camp a lot of times in the forest here. Look out for Lundy's, that's L-U-N-D-Y-S. Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft um, YouTube channel. Really good what they get up to. But of late, I've stopped watching his channel because, um, like a lot of other um, YouTubers, once they get enough followers, subscribers, the company start attacking you and saying, please advertise our product. And just to keep you sweet, they offer you some free products to advertise their products. So they're using you to become a shopping channel and I totally disagree with that. That's why you'll never ever see me advertise any product whatsoever on my channel. I just come out here, point my camera on where I'm going, show you the beautiful countryside, and I don't even put myself on video. I just point the camera on where I'm going. Uh, and obviously if you want to come along, just watch the channel, just enjoy it. So you're out walking with, I used to call myself Sand Dancer Sentinel, but once again, the CIA run YouTube decided to terminate me uh, channel for no reason whatsoever. So I lost 4,200 videos, including um, memories out with my dog, who's no longer with us, family days out.
and that was just um, to suppress the truth and um, sense when when I censoring people. Right, so this is the right turn. Now, like I say, you, you know it's the right one because there's a big, massive lay-by here where the trucks used to use that as a turnaround when they come out the past um, Red Path abandoned farm. Right, so I'll be turning right here. But when I drove up here, I went further up and eventually I took a right turn and went right across the top road, which takes you directly towards where um, Chartner's outdoor activity is centre. But there you see the signpost saying follow these. So you know this is the, the main track for going into the Harwood Forest, what a lot of people take. Good boys, and come on in here, here, come on, here, here, come on in. So there's a, an arrow with follow these on it, and also a wooden marker post. So you walk along here about three quarters of a mile, and then you sort of see Red Path Abandoned Farm coming up on your left after you do a bit of an S bend. And there you are, follow these, and on the top of it's got red path. Right, let me take a picture. While I'm here. Right. Fresh eggs available at follow these form. The many times I've been in the Howard Forest walking along, I've never come this way to go in towards Red Path Farm. I usually come across, like I say, from, um, oh, what do you call it? Spilo um, Scouts Cottages, from coming over from Lord and Shore Car Park, the Simon Side Car Park. And it's starting to rain again now. But like I say, I'm far enough in the forest now, so hopefully I'll not come across any livestock, no horses, no um, cows, and definitely no sheep, because this, this is not grazing land, it's forestry. It's slated raining now again. I'll put my um, hoodie up and my coat hood as well, temporarily until it stops. So I don't want to get absolutely soaked wet. For the rest of the day. So it's nice to let him come out and get his freedom of the leader for the simple fact is my daughter works all kinds of hours for the NHS so she's a nurse and she's always on the road visiting people's houses and um, the kids are at school and he and the oldest ones work and so there's nobody in the house so he's in the house for long periods of time so I like to go and get him and bring him out. Looks like it's right misty to the trees here, look. But you can see where the, there's a camphor on the, the road here where the heavy trucks have gone down there and it's sinking deeper and deeper. Because obviously the, the landscape underneath is all soft because there's a ditch there and there's all water. So the soil will be all soft and easy to compress. Right, I'm desperate for a wee. Come here, son. How are you? How are you? Good boy, son. Come on in. Good boy, son. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, son. He's got a habit of running towards us when I'm having a wee. <laughs> I do want to pee on him. Oh, I needed that, mate. Oh. 
That's good, he's eating grass, so if there's anything going on with his stomach, it'll bring it all out. Right, as you can see, the rain's getting heavier now. But I think once again, it's just gonna be a rain shower because the sky's bright, that way I've come from. So I think it's just a clouds passing over the top of us. How are son? Come on in. How are you? Come on in. What are you doing? How much grass are you going to eat like? Come on. Good boy, good boy, son. Good boy. And a load of pathways come along there, look. So that'll be going parallel with the road, back that way. Right, so it looks like we're going to do a sweeping left hand bend here. And red path abandoned farms over there to the left. I don't think we'll see it just yet. Got to go further in. Right, so there's the wet stuff slowing down now. So, like I say, it was just a, a shower. Have you seen the size of the, the roots on this tree, man? I mean, look at the dog. That'll give you a comparison of how big that is. Come on, son, I don't want you going in there, you get monkey. Get, get out there. Come here. Up. Come on. How are you? Come on. It's all still frozen. There's ice on it. He's, he's slipping all over. Come on, son. Away. Come on. Look at the size of those roots, man. Let me take a photograph. Step back here so I can get it all in. Good boy, son. Good boy. Hey, massive. Once again, sign of humans. Um, plastic water bottle. Just... Uh, Chuck in there. Typical. It seems misty just at this corner. Right, so just beyond those trees, you can't see it for now, but as you go further around, you start to see a red path form coming up on your left. I'm just gonna enjoy this walk. It's um, nothing spectacular, but it's just beautiful. In the forest, it's very, very quiet. Um, but listen. Exactly, nothing. So quiet, it's lovely. When I watch my videos back and I, I, when I come to that part where I say, listen, I, I stop breathing and I, <laughs> and I end up listening to myself. But you can see the road going up away from Red Path Farm through the tree lines there, the gap in the trees. You can see the road going up slightly uphill and that's where you go past Red Path Farm and then you come to a track going off on the left and you take that right across and then that starts taking you over towards where Charters um, Outdoor Activity Centre is. So I might, do, I might do this walk today and take in all three um, properties I may go past red path form uh, abandoned form then go over towards them um, I'll go straight on and I'll go to follow these form and then I may cut across um, past the loft that's the big water lake and then cut across the chartners that way from follow these form and there's red path abandoned form there now you can see on the left hand side so that's where I'm going around and past it about half a mile away, look, over there. Right, I'm take my hood back off now. That's it. And my hoodie, because I didn't want to get too hot. That's it. Right. He's thoroughly enjoying himself, look. 
on the wheel of a time just jumping around. Well, that's what I want. That's what I brought. That's what I bring them out for. It encourages their growth and obviously it p builds up the legs so they last a lot longer. Um, they don't collapse at the back end so easily. And you have powerful leg muscles, back and front. What beautiful picture of um, Red Path Farm. I'll take a picture from here. Do a zoom shot as well. Take another one just in case. Because when you've got full zoom, any slight movement it just blurs. Right, so I think I've got two good ones there. But as I get closer, going around the vent towards it, I'll take a couple of more. Somebody's been camping here, looks like had a bit of a fire just there. So it looks like they've come up here with a vehicle, pulled over at the side and just camped there overnight. Now there must have been a pathway going through there at one time because there's a climb over turnstile but I can't see but there's a bit of a path going along that wire fence going all the way up there oh standing on the rock and rolling on every foot when I come over here with corn um, I went into the grounds of Red Path Farm there and I walked right round it and I was taking pictures of the front and back and the entrance. And you can see um, the tracks going off away from it behind up the hill. He's happy with his cell, he's just wanting to go up there. He's running ahead of us, 250 yards. Good boys, good boy, son. Good boy. So this is why you see I've got no worries because there's just nothing. You can see for miles, so if there is any horses or cattle or sheep in any of the fields, I just get to come straight back and put them on his leader. Looks like there's a bit of a track going up to the right here and all. I wonder where that gun's up to. I mean, you spend months coming around <laughs> Hatwood Forest because there's so many pathways and roads. Um, you'd have to keep coming back and do them all to find out where they go or where they come from. Or do what I do. Once you know where you can pinpoint the, the area, I go on Google Earth and I look down at where the tracks are leading up to. I gave him um, his tea yesterday when we got back home after I picked them up and he scoffed a lot. He loves um, the butcher's dog, tin dog food with tripe in it. Um, and I made him up another, the rest, the other half of the tin with two big handfuls of biscuits and made it up ready for to give him this morning. And he wolfed that down as well this morning. <laughs> he's, a, he's a funny bugger. Just scratched the way he's had a wee, cleaned up after him and he's off. Right, so I'll have to check out where that's gone. So obviously the, the main road I've come up is over there. So that might just take you all the way back through the middle of the first and eventually take you back right onto the main track somewhere. Just surmising and guessing, because I don't know, I've never been along that one. The lads that come through here with bikes and cycles are They've got apps on the bloody a little GPS on the handlebars, and then now where they all go. Right, where's he? Come on, son. How it? Come on. How it? How it? 
So looking over there, you can see the, the slopey rocks where you come down from Simon, the Simon side walk, where you come down to meet the main road on the left hand side. So when I get round the right hand bend past the red path form, I'll show you where I cut over from um, Spilo. I cut across from the scout's hut, follow the fields right across, and then get onto the main forestry commission track, and then um, start walking round towards Hollow Lee's farm. And then I start cutting through the trees, and eventually it brings us out to here for the first port of call. Red path and abandoned farm here. It's all boarded up with the windows, like it's got some notices on it. I think it's something to do with it's, um, the, it's got the old roofs, obviously, so it's asbestos. So that's why they keep people out. Good boy, Sam. Good boy. A stone sticking up there with a bit of green moss on the top looks like it's got a cap <laughs> rock's got a cap on right so you can see the the big s bend you've got to do it to go around and past the um the farm so you bend round the right and bend back round to the left and start taking up the waters of the cottage. Now, um, I was thinking about doing this walk again and bringing him and walking over from uh, Lord and Shore Car Park at Simon Side, coming up over Spilo, and but that means I've got to have it on his leader a lot of the way because there's sheep everywhere on the fields going across towards Court of Cairns. So I'd have to have him dragging us along for quite a distance until I got uh, over to the far side on the main road where you turn left to start coming towards Follow Lee's Farm. And then I've got the other problem, cutting through the trees here, where they've cut them all down, you've got two climb over turnstiles to get over, and he's heavy, there's no way I could pick him up and throw him over. There's a car just there. 